salutations. Welcome to another exciting episode of Articulation Radio. I am your hostess, the eternally grateful Goddess Sage. You know how we do things here at Articulation Radio. We will kick off the top of the day's episode by taking a quick glance at the news headlines. And today's news segment is sponsored by BePublished.org. Here are three of the headlines I saw today, Friday, June 5th, 2020, when visiting EliteValuesNews.com. Irish planning for no deal Brexit and no restart as EU UK talks go badly this week. Court ordered South Africa to amend its coronavirus lockdown regulations Tuesday. Americans call for Trump to resign and voters to assure he's ousted this November. Those are three of the headlines I saw today when visiting EliteValuesNews.com. I urge you to check out the headlines hour on the hour because things constantly happen, so the headlines always change. I'm Joaquin Mann reporting live from EliteValuesNews.com. Check them out. Looking for the latest news? Visit EliteValuesNews. EliteValuesNews.com has all the latest news and information. Check out the headlines hourly. EliteValuesNews.com. Visit now. Do you want to be published? Are you looking for a high-quality, low-cost way to be published with a fast turnaround? Visit BePublished.org to publish today. www.bepublished.org. BePublished.org. Publish today. Books, movies, and music. Listeners, we love you. We hear you. And I am definitely happy to be here with you again today on this episode of Articulation Radio, where you will not only hear wonderful music from independent artists from around the world, you will also get the chance to hear me talk to a move maker, a doer, and I'm not going to tell you with whom I'll be speaking or about what we'll be discussing, but stay tuned. Nights like this I wish that raindrops would fall. It's like this, I wish that raindrops come pouring down, 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 down. Even in my weakness, I still put up a fight. Even though I seem happy, I'm still tortured inside. I'm always fucking depressed and turn my back to the light. Nobody understands my thoughts and the fucking pain it ignites. To be honest, my life has never been diamonds and gold. The warmth has been ripped from my heart and now it's cold as a stone. I never had no support. I'm making moves on my own. I'm so sick of all these fake niggas calling my phone. When you look at me, nigga, you're looking at elegance. When you talk to me, you better show respect like a president. When I walk, I make the ground shake like I'm rolling with elephants. Western Mississippi, that's my unofficial residence. I'm screaming, fuck a hater. I'm only chasing my dreams. Don't get confused by the hype, cause it ain't what it seems. These niggas is lame, say number druggies and fiends. When they come to my city, they know I'm the king. Nigga. Nights like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. Yeah. Nights like this, I wish. What you wish? That raindrops come pouring down, 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 down. I used to do Say this like that I live. I got a wife and some kids. I got a grind and some beer. Hard times and got real. When you ain't got it to give, and your main pond to turn. Like you shot at this wheel. Why you stocking the field? Growing cross in the field. Make you vote them white folks. Call the cops and get killed. Don't give a fuck who you is. Shoot up the city for kill. Call a dude to miss skills. I hit the boot just to chill. I like to drink and no pills. I pass my stash in a weed. She one class in the bitch. Smash, smash the gas in the bitch. Real niggas all in my clip. You plastic the bitch with them feet. I hit the lick and I dip. I taste the sip with it feel. You got the drip, I just spill. Throw in your hands with this deal. You miss the fake Dr. Feel. You ain't spend with what I feel. In this world full of thrills. Want to heart me some fears. Only night like this. I got a face full of tears. Cry, baby. Nights like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. Yeah. Nights 
like this I wish That raindrops come pouring down 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 You have a product, let them help you increase sales. You have a video, let them help you make it go viral. Peoplewarmers.com, P-E-O-P-L-E-W-A-R-M-E-R-S.com. Peoplewarmer.com, book your travel today. Peoplewarmer.com, but wherever you want to stay. Peoplewarmer.com, wherever you want to play. Peoplewarmer.com, go see a concert today. Next day is gonna be next day. <laughs> Jordan Records, <laughs> baby. Yeah. It's my name, Rain. Yeah, your name, Rain. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, shit yes, is yes, easy. Yes, yes, yes. Marcy Largo. Uh. 10K lost, got it back the next day. Next day. Been so for them things, got them the next day. Next day. Two phones ring, it's cracking, whole team bang it. Cracking every hood around the city, bitch, my name ring it. Know it. 10K lost, got it back the next day. The next day. Been so for them things, got them the next day. The next day. Two phones ring, it's cracking, whole team bang it. Cracking every hood around the city, bitch, my name ring it. Know it. I'm fooling in a new whip, new clip, clip new, new fish, Von Jovi on some new shit. shit. 10K, man, I spit that shit yesterday. Day. Huddle up the peas, then I quarterback the play. I'm down. Check my resume, man, I got hits. I ain't talking music, nigga, I'm talking bodies, bitch. For them pounds of cushion, it'll get you whacked. Next day, nigga, got my phone clap. Smoking out the pound, then we break it down. Strong. Red dollar nigga, cause he bitch niggas clowns. Hurts. Doing team shit, boy, get in tune. Get in tune. Number OG smoke in a room. Bruh. Next day shit, whole M. Lago. Lago. Little sis, man, you know she fucking Chop it up. Break it down. Next day, man. Bitch, my name is You know it. King K. Lost. Got it back the next day. The next thing. <laughs> so for them things. Got them the next day. Right, the go. next day. Phones. That's in the your pocket. Neck whole is. team bang. Oh, right. And every hey, hood baby. around the city. Bitch, my yeah. name ring. You know it. Hit a lick and flip that shit by the next day. day. It ain't much you can tell me about this gunplay. <laughs> uh. Bitches two gun wolf. Try to snake a finesse me and I'm a two gun you. Yeah. I'm in the streets like potholes. Guns, I got those. Yo. I'm all about my cheese and my chips like nachos. Yo. Far as Vato, I meet him at the trap spot. Trap spot. Never take Main Street, I'm swift on side block. Uh. 30 on my clip, looking like it's a broomstick. 24 7, my niggas be on that goon shit. 10K lost, got my shit back the next day. Any interaction with haters, I let that text spray. Next day is gonna be Nick Day. That was Next Day by Marcy Largo featuring Jordan Wu and Von G. But we kicked off this episode of Articulation Radio with Nights Like This by Mike featuring Ice DeJula. Today's episode, titled Smoke, Smudge, and Serenity, is highlighted by an interview with Miss Karima McGee, the creator of Lux in Us. And that is a line of smudge products. So you ladies and gents have to be sure to head on over to LuxInUs.com and check out Karima McGee's office. Offerings. That's luxinus.com, L U X I N O U S.com. Head on over there right now and prepare to get your sanctification on because I am going to bring on the entrepreneur right after I play Whatever by Pusha Man. If you're looking for ghost writers, grant writers, technical writers, any kind of writers, Go to the Writers Consortium. Their website is maryjefferson.us, M-A-R-Y-J-E-F-F-E-R-S-O-N.us. You are listening to Articulation Radio. Head on over to articulationmedia.club and let us know your thoughts. Phone lines are open right now at Articulation Radio. Call 312-899-6237. That's 312-899-6237. Would you like for a motivational speaker to come to your company or organization to speak to your group? Visit Life's 
lifespurposeministries.com. That's lifespurposeministries.com. Artistreview.com. All artists need a platform. The Artist Review makes sure you have the one you need to put your work in front of your fans. Artistreview.com. Artist, R-E-V-U-E dot com. From arranging art exhibitions to musical performances to radio interviews to so much more, the Artist Review helps your work get seen. A-R-T-I-S-T-R-E-V-U-E dot C-O-M. Artistreview dot com. To start a business but can't seem to get it off the ground? Call 972-880-8316 for your free initial consultation with a representative from The Conglomerate. Or visit theconglomerate.work today to book your consultation in person. Theconglomerate.work, T-H-E-C-O-N-G-L-O-M-E-R-A-T-E dot W-O-R-K, theconglomerate.work. Call 972-880-8316 to start your new business today. Articulation Radio is extremely pleased to have on the line with us today the entrepreneur and designer, oh my gosh, product offerer, the beauty enhancer, the health treatment lady, Miss (laughs) Karima McGee is on the line for you guys, and she has some great news for you about the relaunch of her product, Lux and Us. But let's make sure that we have Miss Karima here. Miss Karima McGee, do we have you on the line? I am here on the line. Thank you so much for having me. I am. And now and I hear that you have something for all of us wonderful people here in the world that you're going to be making available for us again in June. Tell us about Lux and Us. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, Lux and Us, we've been around since – uh, 2002, um, but I'm relaunching under the new name of the brand uh, on June 1st, which is in a couple of days from now, and um, I'm excited because um, the vision is to be able to reach more people, to get prayer and ritual in more homes than ever before, and so this is the opportunity, this is the moment that that's going to happen. So on June 1st, the website will be live and ready And not only um, are we offering the products, but the education piece that we were missing before is also going to be there. So I'm super excited about that. And people, now that website is Luxinus, that's L-U-X as in X-ray, I-N as in Nancy, O-U-S as in Sam. That's L-U, L as in Larry, U as in Umbrella, X is in X-ray, I is in ice cream, N is in Nancy, O is in Oscar, U is in umbrella, and S as in Sam. Luxinus.com, L-U-X-I-N-O-U-S.com. Head on over right now. And, of course, you mentioned that this time around you're going to have more than a product. You're going to have that whole education base to it. So I guess that this is going to keep people from going over to YouTube and searching for tutorials. <laughs> so tell us about um, well, first of all, tell us exactly what all is included in the Luxinus line. Tell us exactly what that product is, how it can be used. And, of course, um, who are the ideal clients for you? Right. Well, you know, Luxinus, um, let me just start with the name itself because a lot of people are like, what is that? What does it mean? It's not really a word. Um, and so I want to start there. Luxinus came from a day of me just being at my at home altar, which I have, um, and I was at my altar praying, and I just kept saying, "There's light in all of us. There's a light in us. There's a light in us. Mm. It's the most luxurious part of us is that light. The greatest part of us is that light." And yeah. and you know, and as I was saying it, I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! Oh, I'm changing my name. <laughs> I'm changing my name. The name of the business is now Luxonus." Because that's the best part of each one of us is the light that we have, you know. And when we share that light with another human being, um, it's as if we are igniting each other. And yeah. so, you know, the whole act of the, you know, the match and 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 burning the sage that it, that it, that ignite that light. I just I, I wanted I wanted that for every person in every household. I said, well, how do I get people to accept? 
the smudging um, as not just a ceremonial piece or a religious piece, a spiritual piece, but a daily practice that they can add where they're not afraid of it. Where, mm-hmm. the, you know, there's so many myths out there, there's so many misconceptions and the piece of separatism that separates the, you know, well, this is good and this is bad. How do I get through all of that nonsense, you know, so that people understand that we have something here that Mother Nature gave us so that we can use, it can improve our lives, and we can connect with Mother Nature that way and connect with God and and spirit and ourselves. And so I said, well, that is, that is, that is the idea of luxness, but I want to be able to do it in such a way that I protect Mother Nature as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because far too often, our most sacred gifts like sage and palo santo and yerba santa, these are smudging tools that, you know, you find in most indigenous places. Um, a lot of those places are robbed of their natural resources, but the community themselves don't benefit. Well, I wanted to be able to do that. I wanted to be able to create friendships and relationships with uh, the healers and, and, and um, you know, the shamans. I wanted to create relationships with them, human relationships first, but also be able to provide or make it so that the person who doesn't know about sage can have that experience, that life-changing moment. And that's what Luxemness is about. That is the mission to educate, to dismantle some of the myths, and to encourage people that, hey, it, it should be normalized. To light up yes. my incense, <laughs> to light up my sage should be a good thing, and it should be encouraged. That's what I want to do. And especially in a time like this, say, you know, in a time of coronavirus or any time, yes. because we know that um, there are viruses, um, harmful bacteria constantly in the atmosphere and within our homes, and it's not just now, but especially at a time like now where people are trying to look at alternative ways to not only assure that the regular things that they want (laughs) cleanse out of the air handle, but especially these things that are coming up that are new to them that, of course, as we know, are not at all new to this earth. They're just new to the human animals of this Mm. earth. And so, um, but naturally, um, things like sage will help you all out in various ways, not only with the cleansing of, you know, as some people will say, all the negative energy, but a lot of people forget how it's a natural bacteria, it's a bacteria fighter where it will go in and it will cleanse all the bad bacteria out of the air, help replenish it, and actually keep your home people good good and clean and refresh. I want to say usually a good two, three days. (laughs) Um, like after you go through, I mean, it's people, I, let me throw this out at you real quick. Cause I got to ask this question of you because oh, of course with my name being goddess stage, I've even had people I love it. who, um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Who even mentioned, Oh, you know how, like for instance, you know, I was telling a friend how there was this senior who had mentioned that, you know, she had, um, unwelcome guests in her home and you know Mm -hmm. so of course you know we came by we did a cleansing everything she was like oh you know first time I've been able to sleep in over a year blah 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 and so you know I gave Mm -hmm. her a little small bottle long story short one of the friends I was telling about it made the comment that his wife burns sage he said but yeah you know she's not right it it just stinks so bad and it just chases Mm -hmm. me and everybody out of the house you were making the same sounds I made and he said, yeah, you know, and, it just, and I, I made the comment to him. He, yeah, my wife is like she's becoming a witch. She's turning to a witch. Yes. I told him, yes. I told him maybe that's the problem is you and the negativity from you and the kids because I told him if they just supposed to chase away the bad stuff and the negativity and if when your wife burns this to clean the house, and you leave you and them kids run up out of the house, I told him that means – Y'all are just doing his job. For people who are like, oh, you know, and I even told him, I said, you know, he is stinks just because it smells so bad. I told him, but you come in my house. You've never said anything about my house hmm. stinks from sage. You always talk about how good it smells. Well, you ain't never burnt. So I told him, yes, I do. That's the same stuff. <laughs> you know, so for people who are like, oh, well, your sage smells different than her sage. Can you, is there really a such thing? Because I'm thinking we're all well, burning the same stuff. How can it smell different? Well, we're, we're not. 
Um, and I won't say we're not all the time, but I can just tell you that there's so many different varieties of sage that it is possible that one person might be burning white sage or one person might be burning. I mean, there there is a different variety of sages that are available on the market. So it's very possible that what you might be burning might be different from what or the smell that he's receiving, but what you burn might be different from hers. And then also there's other smudging tools that smell different. You have cedar wood, you have your Santa. Oh. Uh, so the, the, and, and then for a lot of people who you know, they say that sage is kind of a bust, you know. So I, I look at sage as it comes in and it doesn't play games. It comes in and says, this is now wiped clean. So it, it mm-hmm. comes in with that strong sense of identity, so it's also strong to the senses. Well, if you can't take that, then maybe a Palo Santo, which is a sweeter, more gentler, um, you know, uh, uh-huh. I would say atmosphere changer, um, then perhaps that might be something that he might enjoy a lot better than sage. But you don't lose the, you don't lose the medicinal portion of it. And that's what I want to teach too. It's not just about, you know, ceremony and ritual. It also has medicinal properties as well. But, you know, you have to find what works for you. Whatever smudging method works for you. Listen, our ancestors, the, 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 the healers of the world, they have left so much for us to, to witness and uncover. Um, and if we don't like one thing, there's also another. You know, the, hey, the Native Americans, they taught, you know, they, they, they'll, they say, hey, you don't like sage, here's tobacco. You don't like tobacco, mm-hmm. here's cedar wood. So we have options that not only can just be beneficial to our likings and what we like to smell, but also our environment and what it is that we are experiencing. There's so much to uncover, and I want to make sure that people have those options so that they can explore. explore. Yes. That's what they really like, you know? Yes, and let's address the stigma with this because, of course, mm. as we know, even with my friend Battle Cat, you know, that came out where, you know, he – Reference that phrase, and of course, as I told him, any of us who are truly walking in our power, people are supposed mm-hmm. to be standing with riches. You know, we're supposed to be able mm-hmm. to have power within the words we speak. We're supposed to go through and make yes. sure that we tap into the spirit and intentionally put out and manifest the things that we want to happen by any means and methods that we believe will make it effective. Um, so, what would you say to people who? Um, maybe would like to get into smudging, but, you know, they don't want to be called a witch or, you know, don't yes. know how to do it. Or yeah. even people who go around calling people who are advanced spiritually um, such mm-hmm. derogatory names because of their own misunderstanding. So how would you address those two? Well, you know what? I've experienced that almost all my life, by the way, because I've always been a little mm-hmm. bit different. <laughs> yes. um, but I, I, I would say, first of all, I think you are an amazing human being. I can feel your energy. I feel like we've known each other forever. Um, Thank but you. There's, <laughs> there's, this, there's this one thing that, that separates all of us from understanding that we have more in common than we would like to admit, and that's mm-hmm. ignorance. We don't know. Um, we... You know, I've experienced, even just at a pop-up shop, one of the ladies that come in, and I was there um, with my, 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 my smudge tools, and she said, oh, no, I'm not interested. I don't, I don't, I don't do sage. And I just said, well, why, why don't you? <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't mess around. It, 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 um, it brings demons to your house, and I don't want demons in my house. And I remember her, there was a time that I would get offended by that. And as I've grown into myself and as I've grown as, as, as a human, I've learned to meet people where they are. And that's my yeah. moment to educate. Well, when was the last time you used holy water? Right. Um, you know, in Catholicism, we, you know, we find that smudging is also present. In every religion that you go to, there's a exactly. in some in some method. Um, different in a sense, from maybe they're using, um, you know, in Catholicism, they're using the third bowl. So there's incense inside, and you'll see that they're moving it forwards and backwards and left and right. What are mm-hmm. they doing? That is an act of smudging. So, yes. um, you know, you've got to meet people where they are so that you can clearly draw the line between, wait a minute, you may say it different here, but it's absolutely the same. So we we just got to get um, in front of the ignorance and, and show people that, okay, perhaps you only know sage to be a witch thing, right? Mm-hmm. And perhaps right. that's what you know it as. But let me show you it in a different light. Let me show you it in, in actually in, in your religion. 
or in your cultural mm-hmm. practice. We all have some form of smudging in our culture and, and, you know, in the fabric of who we are. We just don't know it yet. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And that's why we need, we need responsible, um, uh, people to come forward to, to dismantle those myths. And, and are, are, is it associated with with witchcraft? And absolutely. Why not? But is it right. also associated with, you know, why not? Is it also associated with with uh, religion and 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 uh, it also right. healing? Yes, it is. Right. Um, right. But but we're all a part of this human fabric, and we deserve to use Mother Nature as we see fit. Right. And there's honestly not a single thing that we can think of that exists on the face of this earth that people don't put in that same category. You know, even yeah. poetry, people will say, is witchcraft. Yes, um, you know, absolutely. Some of everything, um, dancing, people say, oh, you know, it's because they aren't the devil's spell. You know, it's always <laughs> something. You know, um, even the yeah. fact that, you know, you've given a person a million passes and you've forgiven them a million and 27 times, and then that mm-hmm. one time when you're like, you know what, let me just wash, wash my hands of you and let you go about your way, they're going to be like, mm-hmm. oh, see, she ain't right because see, the devil yes. got a heart. She got yes. a hell yes. <laughs> So people do know it's nothing that you can ever do that will ever get approval from 100% of the people. And that's why whatever it is that you know you need to do, should be doing, and especially if your spirit is mm-hmm. directing you to do it, Um, And and let's take it a bit further, you know, for those who believe every single thing that happens is literally because of the most high hands on it. Then that Mm. means that why would you even fix your mouth to sit up (laughs) and say something negative about any way anybody else is worshiping or whatever they're doing? And even that come to think about it is biblical because I know y'all remember that part where Jesus, Yeshua, had to go through and roast (laughs) some of his disciples. Because he had to let them know, look, why are you sitting up worried about me stopping and talking to this woman that you claim is a witch? You're supposed to yes. be doing what God told you to do. <laughs> you need to be about what the Father told you to do. Get to know. You are my is. spirit animal. Y'all go on you down my the road and I'm hang out with this witch. How about that? You know, so it's <laughs> like y'all don't. You know, we got to study to show ourselves approved. And especially we got to remember, before we try to say something bad about something, Remember yeah. now, if you one of those people that's running around talking about you believe in God, God is yes. in control of everything, God created everything, uh, you shouldn't be saying nothing negative about nothing that exists. Let me right? tell you. You need to be learning. Let me tell you. I wish I, um, and like I said, I've, I've, uh, as far as what, 20 plus years, you know, I've always had some sort of, well, is she a witch? Is she practicing Santeria? Is she into, uh, you know, I've always had those questions and I really and even uh, had to that learn. And like, oh, you voodooed me. No. You yes. <laughs> well, I kind of do have that natural voodoo effect, but, you know, that's, <laughs> that's another topic. Yeah, that, but, you know. That's just that say quasi, but that's that say quasi. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. But you know, I think um a lot of a lot of um we can keep people uh disempowered when we don't allow them to see nature for what it is. It's natural. Uh the what we call the supernatural is in fact just natural in Mother Nature. Yeah. Um and so to keep people away from their actual true power, we need them to believe that things are bad for them. So we say that witchcraft don't go over there. So that you don't become empowered when you uh-huh. explore. You just um, stay so indoctrinated it, and limited. You got it. <laughs> you mimic what you hear, and you're not necessarily um, doing what you know on on a spiritual level. On you know, right. you're doing what you've heard out of repetition. Um, mm-hmm. After after a learned experience, not as a experience for yourself. So I, right. I wish people could experience, you know, like the first time I ever experienced uh, say, and I think I told you about this in my in our initial chat, that yeah. when I first experienced smudging, I was um, becoming a part of the Shrine of Pata in Brooklyn, New York. And I remember walking up on the sidewalk to the shrine, and there was this smell that was just 
it felt godly to me in a sense yes. of what I understood God to be. And I was like, what does that smell? I had never seen it Because you could even before, smell but... the life in, in the, it's, oh. that's not what I describe it to me, but like you can smell the life like if. Chlorophyll had a smell. Maybe this was. Mm. You know? <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> it was like It was like life force personified. Like this, I can smell it. I can feel it. It wrapped itself <laughs> around my body, and it invited me into the shrine. I was like, Oh, I'm definitely going in there. <laughs> and you know, yes. when I went in, I knew I was supposed to be there. Sage yes. had invited me in. It welcomed me in. I came in, and then I saw the priestesses. They were what we call opening up the way, and they were they were moving the these these containers forwards and backwards and left and right, and they were chanting, and I was mesmerized. Mm. I was locked in, and then I found out it was Sage, and I was like, oh, this is my life. This is oh, what I'll be doing for the rest of it. I can only imagine if any any other person on this planet was we were to remove the 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 ignorance, remove the the uh, you know the dogma and all that other stuff, remove it so they can experience it for themselves. I can guarantee you, anyone that experiences it for themselves, they will forever be changed. Yes, yes, and people, you have to. And for those of you, my apology for those of you who had not been too long ago tuned in, you are listening to Articulation <laughs> Radio. I am Goddess Sage. I am interviewing the wonderful Miss Karima McGee, and we're talking about her relaunching her new her product line, the Luminous um, line, and that, her website is, I'm sorry, the Lux, Luxinous product, okay. and her website is L-U-X-I-N-O-U-S. Dot com. That's Lexinus at L U X I N O U S dot com. You all want to get this. It doesn't matter what stage you are at. If you're a person who's like, you know what, I need to get some stage in my life, not only from the fact that, you know, stage means wisdom, you know, and you know that you definitely want that clean whiz in your life, you know, but you also <laughs> know that you also need all of the benefits from having that physical representation of that wisdom. It's going to go through, going to clean out what doesn't need to be there. It's going to help you fortify and put in what does need to be there. And, of course, mm-hmm. going to help you just strengthen where you know you are by just reminding you every time you breathe that you have done the right thing and that your life is going to be improved from a cellular level, and everything around you will be improved from a spiritual level. Now, as she mm-hmm. even teaches you, if this is your first time, she even on that website, luxinus.com, has it to where she has will have tutorials available, and all of this is going to be kicking off again next month. So you guys have a little time. Well, here in June, you know, it's going to be kicking yeah. off. I think June 1st is the relaunch. June 1st, is- you got it. We got a couple of days. Yeah. Maybe, yes, yes. And, of course, mm-hmm. by the time you all actually – Listen to this and re-listen to this and share this with your friends and your friends will listen to it. It is no reason why, at least, um, because we know how a lot of you like delaying stuff. You know, it's no reason <laughs> why 2020 should close without you having gotten your stage game on. You know, no reason mm. for you to be taking negative energy beyond the moment that it's in right now. No reason mm. for you to even keep allowing yourself to have these things where you're saying you're putting – paper in your printer and a paper you could feel it getting taken and the paper has disappeared no more having things getting knocked off your wall or even Mm. feeling like people coming in while you're asleep and doing things to you or entities baby no you can do Mm. things about that you don't have to be someone who i would say feeling like you're constantly under attack by the things of the world and think that it's nothing you can do because baby it's plenty you can do it's plenty you can do and miss karima's going to make sure that if she can't come to your house and do it for you baby she'll Mm. put you out some products (laughs) and got you some tutorials so you know exactly what to do and how to do it properly and for those of you who are already into saging you know that you want to go ahead like me you want to go ahead and check out some of her time too because as you all know I even learned that maybe my sage is different from other people's sages. So I want to mm. see. I want to get the different time because, honestly, 
Um, I would love that kind that my friend's wife that he's complaining about because I'm like, hmm. I've never had people to run away from my sage, and now I'm thinking maybe my sage ain't strong enough. You know, you know maybe just you maybe just say this strong enough because sometimes you know, and and not to not to interrupt you, but I just I think it's an important piece to to, to look at is that um, sage, uh, you know, when you when you pull out sage, you're actually pulling out the big dogs, you know, you're you're, you're saying to your environment what does not belong here, flee from here. What does not belong here that is not flee from you're asking it to cleanse. And so people are constantly moving and leaving. Perhaps your sage is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. I mean, that's just another thought, you know. But oh, it's no, you, you you sage. Is, else. That's a whole nother to you. Yeah, this you, woman you, something else because uh, if y'all would just listen to that story, I'm not going to even repeat it, but y'all listen to that story I said, and then when you put what she said in with it's like, y'all, this is, if you piece that together, you'll know what, when I keep her on this line after what I'm going to be chatting with her about, child. Because, oh, wait, oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to head on up to her website. Matter of fact, let me do that right now. I'm going to get me some more time in, some personal time in with Miss Karima McGee. If y'all want y'all some of this, y'all need to go on up to her website. That's luxinus.com. That's L-U-X. I N O U S dot com, but before I get selfish with her, I'm gonna give her an opportunity to get y'all a little bit more just for y'all. So, Miss Karima, what is there that you would like to have a chance to tell the listeners of Articulation Radio that you've not yet had a chance to share with them? Oh, um, listeners, I want you guys to understand that you have the power to change your life. You have the power to create the life that you want. You have the power to create something worth thriving. Um, and all you have to do is say it with your mouth. Believe it and say it with your mouth. Use the tools okay. that Mother Nature has to create the environment that you want to see for yourself. Have the courage to be able to want to dream something bigger for yourself. If something is not right, you have the power to speak it into righteousness. You can say, change this atmosphere. You can say that, and the atmosphere will respond to you. But we don't know that we have that power because the world is stripped us of it. But I'm here to tell you that you have that power to create. Trust yourself, trust your journey, and be sure to log on to www.com so that we can give you the tools that you need so that you can create the life you want and you can change the undesirables into the desirables. You can do that. Beautiful. And tell them that website again. That's www.luxinus.com. Dot com L U X I N O U S the light and us beautiful ah I love it y'all are finna get some private time in y'all are finna be Willis and Envious baby don't be I got some music coming from y'all we gonna keep it rolling for you stay tuned <laughs> oh. want to buy stocks jewels real estate or other high end items. Would you love to be able to contribute to charitable initiatives but cannot do these things with the money you currently have? Join Regal City Investment and Social Club where you can pool money each month with other investors to make major purchases, give to the needy, and possibly turn a profit. www.regalcity.xyz Articulation Radio, thanks you so much for listening. So head on over right now to articulationmedia.club and let us know your thoughts on today's episode. Weddings are expensive, but your love is worth it. Go to marryusnow.us to book the Minister of Love to officiate your wedding today. The fee is only $200 if your wedding is in the city of Chicago. And there's only a small fee to get the Minister of Love to travel outside of Chicago to your wedding location. Book the Minister of Love today. Visit MarryUsNow.us. Are you single and seeking a lifestyle club that's centered around you? Go to SittingRoom.xyz to register today. SittingRoom.xyz. Do you frequently shop online and you're looking for a new place to shop? Join the club, jeffersontaylor.club, where models, designers, inventors, and other creators offer customers the best products at fair prices. Jefferson Taylor, jeffersontaylor.club.
so much for joining us today for this episode of Articulation Radio. There is no other reason why we do this other than you. We hope that you have enjoyed today's episode, that the information you received has been something you can immediately apply, as well as you have enjoyed this great music from independent artists from around the world. We also encourage you, if you have not already gone over to articulationmedia.club, so that you can ensure your music, your ads, as well as your interview is scheduled. Be sure to do that right now. But in the meantime, thank you again for being a listener. But more importantly, Be sure that you are a doer. Keep doing whatever it is that you are called to do. Make sure that you let nothing stop you. So in other words, keep making things happen, baby.